I, living on your own is great, but even introverts like me get a little bit lonely sometimes. So I've come up with five ways to beat the loneliness back into submission. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you aren't, welcome back. My name's Jen. I make videos about my life and adventures as a 50-something silver and solo pre-retirement Gen Xer. My number one suggestion for combating loneliness is to join a meetup. www.meetup.com is a website that you can go to and they've got events and meetups that you can join for free in most cases. It's all across the world. I'm putting links to the meetups for Canada, the US, Australia, New Zealand, and the UK in the description below but it is available in dozens of other countries as well. It's meetup.com. Anyhow, they have events and get togethers scheduled by regular people like you and me who just want to get together with like-minded individuals and do their thing. It could be hiking, it could be walking groups, it could be a book club or a reading group, it could be people who like to knit, it could be anything. I've attended a couple of these meetups and they were really great when I first moved to Vancouver Island from Ontario. Ontario in Canada is like a five day road trip to Vancouver Island. Five days, not five hours. It's a five hour flight. So it's quite a ways from Ontario. And I was new here and I didn't know anyone. I didn't have any family. And so I attended a few meetups in order to just sort of get to know the area. One of them was a hiking group that did a different hike through a different area park or walking area every week. And you could just show up at the meeting point. It was free and a whole bunch of people were already there. And then you would set off on the hike. And someone who knew about it, the organizer usually, would tell you a little bit about the area and about cool things to do. And you would walk with the other people and just chatter along the way. It was really nice. The second meetup I went to was really cool because it was to learn about Nordic pole walking, which is just walking with the sticks, you know, for better balance and everything. So I went on this Nordic pole walking meetup and the organizer was a woman who was incredibly passionate about Nordic pole walking and she was incredibly knowledgeable about them and it was quite intense. She was a very intense woman but we ended up taking a beautiful walk around Victoria's inner harbour using these Nordic walking poles and it was fabulous. I never went back again but I did go out and buy a set of walking sticks and I use them occasionally. As a matter of fact, I used them uh, on my recent cruise last year, Mont Saint-Michel in France. And it's an ancient monastery from I think the 1100s. And there are 300 steps that you have to climb to get to the top and see the abbey and the monastery and look at the beautiful view. And so I really learned a lot during that meetup and I really enjoyed it. And if you are into learning about new things or just getting together with some like-minded people, check out your local meetup group. My second suggestion is to check out the local sports and recreation teams at your recreation center or community center. I know that when I was looking for something to do, something to get a little socialization in, I enjoy playing sports. And so there was a paddling club close by. Now, had I ever paddled before? No. I mean, I've been in a canoe before, but I had never paddled like as a sport or anything. I just decided I would go down and I would ask about it. It ended up that I paddled uh, an outrigger canoe for six years and I also dragon boated for another three years. And all of this, I had no prior experience whatsoever, but I just went and asked. And they had a really great community and a really great club. And it was lots of fun with lots of events to go to all year round. And there was practice once or twice a week. It wasn't really difficult, but it was very challenging. And it was a lot of fun. But I never would have known about it if I didn't ask. 
If you go down to your local recreation center, there will also be notice boards for people looking for recreational members for teams, such as pickleball, such as volleyball and field hockey and soccer and softball, everything you can imagine. My local recreation center also has a full slate of aqua aerobics and water fitness classes that run the entire year long. They also have specialty fitness classes for older adults, yoga and weight training and chair fitness. There are dozens of activities and classes and clubs to join and it's a really great way of meeting people and even if it just gets you out for a couple days or a couple weekends a month then that's great. My third suggestion is crafts or hobbies. Find like-minded people who like to do the same crafts or hobbies that you like to do. For me, I recently made a video extolling the virtues of a stained glass making class that I went to. I had seen it advertised and again, I have never done anything with stained glass, but I enjoy looking at stained glass windows. And they had this class, it was for a full half day and you got to keep a window that you made at the end of the class. I had a ton of fun and spent the entire half day just fully engaged with trying to make my window, which I believe is fairly rustic. Here it is, my one and only attempt at a stained glass window. And I still haven't put it up yet, but I will. And would I go back to stained glass making? No, probably not, it's not really my thing, but I'm glad that I took the class and I got to meet a bunch of cool people. I've also done the same thing, finding classes in pottery. Made this little dragon egg in my pottery class. I had never done pottery before. I did a class in bookbinding. Never had anything to do with bookbinding, but it looked really cool and it was. I adore bookbinding. If I could find another class or a course to do for that, I would. Again, try community centers, try thinking of a craft or a hobby that you would like to try, but you don't have any experience or skills, but you'd still like to try it. Try Googling something like that. I'm sure that there are courses and classes available all around you and you just haven't thought of that before. It's a great place to meet people and I know that I made two friends in my pottery class that I'm still in touch with today. My number four suggestion is something that happens a lot around here on Vancouver Island. We have a lot of environmental groups who hold information sessions, mini TED Talks about wildlife, about flora and fauna. Um, seaweed gathering. I haven't done that one yet, but I'm quite intrigued actually. But also the local garden center holds sort of symposiums and events about growing herbs and how to use them. There's also a shoreline cleanup on Vancouver Island, but also I think on the mainland as well, which are local events where you get together with just a bunch of other volunteers and you walk along the beach cleaning up and then they provide sandwiches and drinks and usually everybody hits a pub or something afterwards. Events like that, if it's up your alley, are really great ways of meeting local people who are of the same mindset that you are. My fifth suggestion is uh, library and community organizations that hold events and clubs like book clubs and knitting circles. I know that my local library holds a, a knitting night once a week and also the local high school doubles as a community center and they have a maker space and I'm not sure if anyone else has heard of that but it's an open source space that anyone can visit and they've got all sorts of tools. They've got sewing machines, they've got a wood lathe, they have tables for doing crafting and design and you can just drop in and it's free and someone will be there who knows how to do these things and they can help you with your craft. Perhaps you have some talents that you might be able to share in a manner like that. Or if you have a craft or a hobby, you may need some help and there's a makerspace in an area close to you. 
There are also several service organizations in the little area where I live. One of them is the Lions Club and Lionesses, and there are several others. And I know that my neighbor across the street, who is 92, she volunteers at Meals on Wheels and takes prepared meals to people who cannot get out of their houses or who find it difficult to make meals on their own. She does that on a volunteer basis and helps make the meals down at the local church. And places of worship are a great place to meet people too. They also have events and charity drives that are going on. I know that the local Taoist temple here holds Tai Chi daily at the community center and anybody can join as by donation. I've always wanted to learn Tai Chi, and that might be a good thing to put on my books and check off a box. But it's also a good way to meet people too. Now I'm comfortable being in my own company and I don't like to socialize a whole bunch, but I do like to get out and I like to talk and I know getting myself out of my own head and out of my own space out in nature or out doing a craft or a hobby or something new that challenges me. It always makes me feel a lot better in my headspace after I've done it. So I know it's beneficial for everyone, even for introverts like me. If you're saying to yourself, there's nothing in my area, there's nothing close to me that I like, there's nothing that I can do, I challenge you to do something that you don't know how to do. I challenge you to do something that you've never had any experience in and you're not sure what it is. It's only going to be a couple hours. Go out and try it. Give it your best shot. You may end up liking it. I mean, I had never paddled an outrigger canoe before in my life. I've never heard of that. I have no experience with that. The thing is that I put myself out there and I tried and I had a really great experience out of it. If you're only looking at things that you already have experience with, that you're already good at, that you already know about, that you already know that you like, then I think that you're missing out on a lot of opportunities for socialization, a lot of opportunities for new experiences, and a lot of opportunities to really enjoy yourself. Put yourself out there and try something new. Let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions for people to just get out and socialize if they are living alone and they don't like that.